I'd like to take a little bit of time today to talk about interest rates. Interest rates are extremely low. The 10-year treasury rate right now is yielding about 1.6 percent. Rates have been low and been, been heading downward anyhow now for the last 30-year period of time. I recall earlier in my career when interest rates were at double digits, inflation was at double digits, and, and it seems like we were living obviously in a different world then than today. As far as interest rates are concerned, we're looking at uh, really two different worlds a world of high inflation and high interest rates and a world of very low inflation and low interest rates. So questions we're getting asked by our clients these days, uh, number one, how long are interest rates going to stay this low? And number two, what's going to happen when they start moving back up? Let's talk about question number one, how long are interest rates going to stay this low? And I would suggest the answer to that question really resides in the central bankers of the world, including the Federal Reserve. Ben Bernanke has said himself that the Fed has tolerance for inflation to move to 2.5% before they start taking the punch bowl away from qu quantitative easing 3. As long as we're under quantitative easing 3, then more than likely interest rates are going to stay relatively low. Consequently, as long as inflation stays below 2.5%, our view holds that interest rates are going to remain relatively low. In addition to that, uh, Ben Bernanke has stated that they have a tolerance or they have a desire for in, uh, unemployment to get below 7%. If unemployment gets below 7%, then more than likely they're going to stop or alter their moves on quantitative easing. So we're kind of in that range right now of 2.5% and lower inflation, quantitative easing stays on, intact, or, or in, unemployment staying above 7%, uh, quantitative easing stays intact. In either one of those cases, then we're probably looking at a sustained period here where interest rates are going to stay low for a period of time. Our anticipation is that interest rates will probably start moving upwards as quantitative easing succeeds uh, over the next uh, three to six month period of time, at which time we feel it, it makes sense for investors to think about bonds in their portfolio since bonds, bond prices are more highly sensitive to interest rate shift than most any other factor we can think of.